All right, I had to go do a little adjustment. Had to make this a little bit bigger. Now, since this is inside, I don't mind if it gets a little messy in there because I don't want to have to open this up again and uh, fix it. So what I'm going to do is once it's kind of in there, a bit more on either side to let this one be a little bit more at an angle so it comes down below this. One thing you're going to have to, you're going to want to really remember with this is don't do too much. Why? This is hot. This glue is really hot. You don't want it to go and to melt or, or superheat the EVA foam. Again, we'll just kind of find the center here. Just let the inside of the tube guide you. Now I'm going to take it over to the Dremel again. it a lot nicer but hey we're going for speed for speed here i'm gonna go ahead and do this detail mm -hmm. the reason i go six and a quarter is you know because that's the measurement i got here just kind of eyeballing but i don't want to eyeball my cut i want to make my cut precise So six and a quarter there, and approximately six and a quarter down. Straight cut. Now, that's the piece I'm working from. We don't just cut it in half. We actually want to give a gap there. Six and a quarter, which would be three and an eighth, three and an eighth, we find the center. We'll just draw a line down the center. So we'll just say it's an inch. We'll put this at half an inch and we'll do a tick mark there and a tick mark there at the inch. Tick mark right at the top and then a tick mark right at the one inch. And that's going to be our cut lines. And save that for something later. So this looks like maybe it's about twice this, so it's two inches. So instead of doing two inches, I'm going to go one and a half. You can come up, put another one and a half line there. figure what this will be two and a half I'll show you why we're gonna make it two and a half because this goes at an angle there this then goes straight then there's a little angle before it goes straight so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to two inches three quarters of an inch right here put that there Now this isn't going to be perfect like hers, but again, it doesn't have to be. Not for my purposes, anyway. There is there is a lot of ways to make it exactly perfect. Mm -hmm. And I bet you some of you guys out there know some of those ways already. I'm just doing it because for my purposes, I don't have to. Really, really close. Mm -hmm. 
And just functional, practical, and economical. The angle that I have here is different from the angle that I have here. I can go get that angle if I like. And actually, I can do it from this piece. There's the angle. That angle should actually probably be here. Further up, right? Yeah, because you see, this actually stops here. You know what? Let's just do that. So there you go. All these pieces line up. That's why you want to really... Want to hold it down. Hold it down, because if you don't... I can see you can move. use a straight edge if you want really, really precise cuts. Because I do have a little bit more experience, yeah. I'll do it that way. And I know how it's going to look when it turns out. So now I'm going to take this picture, take this, find out where it belongs. So I marked my area. And did you put lines on there or you're just yes. eyeballing it? Basically? No, there's faint lines on here. But here's the other thing about contact cement. As soon as you put it down, there ain't no getting it back up. Mm -hmm. In this case, you, you want to choose a line, um, maybe that, that longest line there, and put that down first. You don't have to put it down hard. Just touch it down and then start to get everything to move and then start to move in one direction. Mm as you're uh, putting it together. Take a little piece of tape. Remember, we get this at the dollar store. So and that won't, that masking tape won't stick to too much of that foam. No. That. Pushing, pushing it down. You're just getting on the line. The bad thing about contact cement, when doing it on this surface, man, you have to get it to the edges or those edges will we'll peel up. up. Yeah. So it's wise to have this so you can get it exactly at the edges you want. Exactly at way. the edge. Now, as soon as you get this down, peel the tape up. You really don't want to get that on there. Residual from the tape, right? Residual from the tape. But it'll go away. We should be fine. I'm going to let that dry. I'm and now you're going to glue these. Take my contact cement and I'm going to put them on these. Put it on the edge. Oh, just on the edge, okay. Yeah. That's all I really have to do. I can't even remember who did that. Oh. <laughs> Whew. Man. This is rub and buff. Do you see the the scratches that makes that makes her backpack look like it's made out of metal? That's what the rub and buff does. It helps you create that look. Puncture. Oh, you the got to yeah, poke a hole in you it. You get your your brush out and put a little of the rub and buff right there. And it's just like a silver special. While it's in there with the top on, kind of mix it a little. Because you you kind of want it solid. Mm. Put it on your brush. This is dry brush. Yeah. Put it on the edge. Now, when you dry brush something, very little comes off. Just put it. Starting to give it a metal look already in there. Yeah, and it makes it pop out. I'm not using it all the way. Then, kind of start coming in. Because remember, I kind of dried my brush a little bit. You kind of want to give it some of that scoring. That's a... Exactly. And you still yeah. have glue on the back of these, too. I still have glue. Touching it it's won't not... hurt it. All right. I still have some lines here. Yeah. yeah. Now I can, this is ready to apply. So like I said, what I'm going to do is go to that long edge and see where I have it at the top. It's not always going all the way to the bottom. So because this is pliable, I'm stretching it. Oh. I know you don't see it, but I am stretching it. And I'm making it go where I want. Oh, it 
look at that. It looks a little short though. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is stretch it a little bit. I mean, you cut those exact. Yeah. Kind of, um, it's weird because foam, you'll cut it and it'll... It'll kind of do its it, thing. Kind yeah. of shrink, we expand. Could be like temperature sensitive, possibly. Yeah. So right here, I don't like the way this is. Just really don't. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can just take your finger. Kind of work it. Like that. And just push it around until it all looks straight to you. If this bothers you, really bothers you, just take some matte black or flat black and just lightly spray spray over it. And I'm talking about, you know how they say, keep the can 10 to 12 inches away, go 14 to 18 inches. This stuff, you do want to kind of wear a face mask with. Mm or go way outside. You don't want to be inside Enclosed, the garage so, yeah. because even though you're away from it, it so. lingers in here. Mm -hmm. Like Corona. Yeah, <laughs> like Corona. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of spot spraying. Why? Because I don't want it all one color. This is going to be a different black than this. Mm. 